Aziz. This sauce don't have number in the menu, yes. so no need to learn it, because this is the base of every single curry. Well, my grandmother used to eat this sort of stuff. She died when she was 98. The shop they make the uh, cushion, because everybody can make it. The hand is tough job, so there's only few chefs can make it. I can show you both of them. And you can tell the difference when you look at them. Blood is not pulling me about. This is very quick. This bread has yeah. only been in a minute. So, uh, one is ready. Look at this. Look what's this. So, we had boiled chicken in. Boiled? Yeah. yeah. This is the korma curry, the favourite in Scotland. Oh, Everybody's right. favourite, uh, because it's mild. And this is the chicken curry. So, well, so do we do a vindaloo? Yes, we do a vindaloo. is uh, all the curries, normal curries. Uh, th these are specialties, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the normal curry with the... Fish fingers as well. Yeah, there's uh, crispy poppadoms. There's two comes in a portion. Yeah. Two small donuts. Vindaloo. Yes. Pillow rice. And 14 tonne of chipratis. I'll put it now. Right, goodbye. Thank you very much, sir. It's a good turn now. I even did not count that money, how much it is by, he did quickly, so yes. fingers it, crossed. It's slightly wrong. Yeah. We will win. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. We learned. will win. The video diary. Um, very nice family, <laughs> full of humour, like myself. But uh, there is a big problem with this, doing this special skill. I'll be lucky to remember one or two of them. <clears throat> But there you go, and part and parcel of it, of course, is you, you, they won't, the producers will not tell you where you're going or indeed what you'll be expected to do. I don't bother, I don't care if we win or not, but fingers crossed. But I did really did enjoy that, and uh, I like the VIP guest, uh, it's really funny, and uh, we had a very good time. Went to my mum and dad's bedroom, I knocked on the door, and said wake up. Hello? Hey up Ken. Yeah. And I heard the bed bouncing and that told me that the celebrity was waking up. Ken. Yes. Can I show you when I was age 16? Good grief. I was in police force in Pakistan for four years. Alright. Yeah so these pictures this this is a I'm been chosen for special squad. To make sure Ken's gonna do it right he's doing his homework now. We've locked him in, like. <laughs> From about 102 to 119 are all accompanying things like writers and rices. Here we are. Ah! Somebody working hard. Oh yes, studying again, you see. 99, 100, 101 are all prone. You know what's the difference between you and Mr. Ken? Apart from our good looks, of course. He's doing his homework and you're not doing it. It's like me saying, can you remember 60 names out of the telephone directory and all the numbers that go with them? Um, would you want to do it in the first place? And is it is it possible? I mean, how many ways are there to stuff your brain? You know what I mean? Just a moment. Just go. Turn you off. Just make sure and just turn you off now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So no complaints, it's been fed well. No, you very well. Fed, fed very well. I and hope my wife's uh, listened to this. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Best. Thank you for your uh, <laughs> hospitality. <laughs> right, to the car then. Goodbye, Wallace. Goodbye, Bruce. And goodbye, Sanjeev family. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Great time, but backstage right now is a very nervous Ken Morley. Can he cope under pressure and win for the Sadges? Join us in a little while to find out. See you then. Swap footy for hockey, Terry Dwyer drove everyone nuts and now Ken Morley is under orders for the Sajid family. Everything depends on a few curries and a very good memory. So how is the takeaway industry's newest employee feeling now? Let's find out. Please welcome Ken Morley. <laughs> Just 
watching that video, you must have been in heaven because you love a good curry, don't you? Well, as you can see, yes. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they eat hotter than me. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, do you like them spicy? I do, yes. That's do the trouble, you? yes. Now, Sajid, when you took him to the restaurant, do people recognise Ken there as well? No, nobody even... Uh, <laughs> they didn't! <laughs> <laughs> See what happened. That must have been great for your ego. I think when I ran out with the sack of rice, it was a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> now, deal. it must have been nice for you because you weren't under pressure to do homework. It was this man, so that must have been a relief. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and you've got a little present, haven't you? For yes, I this? have. Here yes. it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, thank you. Very Do you much want to that's, oh, that's a great yes. likeness. I think he's captured <laughs> very well there, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. <laughs> I love the spec. Nice one. Now, Ken, to yes. pay this family back for their hospitality and all those wonderful curries, yes. are you going to tell them what you're hopefully going to win for them tonight? I will. I they do not know. They have no clue. Are you listening carefully? <laughs> right, here we go then. Now, this is for, first of all, of course, the lady, Shanaz. Shanaz. Now, you have always wanted to visit Dubai, haven't you? Yeah. I know you have, because you told me. And see the rest of Sajid's family. Yeah. If I win, of course, I'm going to send you all on a fabulous two-week holiday to Dubai with lots to spend. Fabulous. Thank you. You're a, a very keen photographer, of course, aren't you? As we know. So, I hope that this digital camera, with its very own Minilab developer, comes in handy. That's quite a good stuff there. Fantastic. This is for you. And, <laughs> and the deal in Harris. How about I get you this all-in-one laptop computer, DVD, and hi-fi system? Woo! Yes, sir, Bob. And I also know you're both huge Rangers fans, so a trip to Ibrox with VIP tickets oh, yeah. should be good, eh? How do you feel about that? Are you happy about that? How do you do it tonight, guys? What do you think? Yes, with all our confidence. Yes, of you? course. <laughs> Ken? Yes. Are you ready? As I'll ever be, darling. Would you like to go and get yourself ready? Thank An you. An audience, give some support for Ken Morley. <laughs> Can we please have a reminder of what Ken has to do to win for the Sajids tonight? Ken, you will be given a series of numbers that correspond to meals from the takeaway menu you have been memorising. The numbers will come in sets of three, and you'll have to get each order correct before moving on. Get any wrong, and it'll be all over, because you'll hear this noise. Ken, you can do it. Your first order is coming up. All right. Good luck. Right. Um... <clears throat> Uh, the first one's a 31, which is, uh, as I remember, it's stuck right in the middle of something. I think it's, um, it's a tandoori mixed grill, that one. And the, the middle one is 111. I think it's a piece of bread called a chapati. And there's 118, which is the, uh, the end of the side dishes. I think that's, uh, it's a drink, isn't it? It's, it's like milk, um, yoghurt. Uh, there's a 38 here, and that uh, that starts a range of foods called uh, tickers, and uh, that one is a chicken ticker, Jal Freezy, I think. That's a 111. It's got to be chapati, isn't it? Number seven, which is the start of the meals, number seven, and that is a vegetable samosa, I think. A 46, Sir Rogan Josh, and a number 11, it's a mushroom puri, I think, and there's a number 8. What are they? A 7 and 8. That's a samosa, and there's only two, vegetable and mince samosas, because that's got to be a mince samosa. Seventy-four. It must be a prawn biryani. And there's a 111. The 111 is the chapati. 61, I think. 
I'm not sure, but I think it's a, it's one of those metal dishes with a hot thing in it. <laughs> so, um, it's 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 got to be a prawn bolty. Sixty-two, and that's got to be King Prawn Balti. It's a link together. There's a one-one-six. I think it's a rioter. Rioter. But what's a one-zero-three? It's a mushroom badge. It's got to be. <laughs> oh, what's this? A seventy-two. So that's got to be a chicken biryani. And a 75, that's got to be vegetable biryani. Oh, 65's a real killer. Oh, uh, it's a lamb ticker kahari. <laughs> well, it's a 65 again. Lamb ticker kahari. 72 we said was a chicken biryani and a 76 a beef biryani. <laughs> 17 is a fish pokara and a 23 is a another pokara but it's a vegetable pokara and a set what's a 77? Chicken Ticker Biryani. <laughs> 79. A 108. Is a boiled rice. A 79 is a King Prawn. Special coma. But what's a 26? Onion bhaji. Yeah. <laughs> An eighty-five. Chicken. Madras. And an eighty-six. It's a chicken. Vindaloo. And a 108 is a boiled rice. That was nerve wracking. That's how you beat the pressure, ladies and gentlemen. The curry king of Falkirk, King Molly, and the Zedgin family. three families and taken on three challenges they've all learned new skills and made new friends and next week we'll do it all again who will be brave enough to knock on an unknown door and put themselves under pressure join us next week to find out i'm melanie sykes and until then good night <laughs>you'd like to put a celebrity up in your home with the chance they might win you some great fantastic the nearer to the end you've got the more the pressure because you only have to stumble at the last fence and it's all gone if i don't see another hockey stick it'll be a day too soon next it stars in their eyes opening the doors on fresh new talent with familiar old voices join matthew kelly and guests next then at 8, it's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And later at 9, Dale Winton hosts a VIP evening. It's international stars and their...